Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about my top 10 Miss Universe Ukraine of the decade which means these are the representatives of Ukraine in the Miss Universe 2010 to 2019 so there's 10 of them we will be ranking them based on my own personal preference and personal taste and then we will be talking about them later in the comment section and let me just remind you that I have also made a similar version of this ranking for other countries so you can just go ahead and check them out on my YouTube channel and also if you think that your country or the country that you're looking forward to see has not is not available yet just comment them down in the comment section and I'm I'm guaranteeing you that I'm reading all of the comments and I will do my best to make them for you and let's continue starting with my number 10 2017 Yana Krasnikova she's my least favorite of all and from all these ladies she's the one who reminds me of nothing about her number 9 2019 Anastasia Subota her swimsuit preliminary was okay while her evening gown choice is and evening on choice and performance is very weird to me. Her gown was very costume-ish, plus overall aura, she didn't really scream qualifier at all. My number 8 is 2012 Anastasia Chernova. Not really a huge fan of her as well, but I like how she looked during the evening gun round evening gun competition however she really have a very slim chance of qualifying in the finals me number seven 2015 Anna Verhelskaya not really much into her as well her swimsuit preliminary was just average and didn't leave much impact plus she needs a lot of energy booster during that evening gun round because it was a lifeless performance in my opinion my number 6 is 2018 Karina Zoshan. This exclusion shocked me. Because profile wise, she's got one of the best ones from the European region. Although I am not a huge fan of the styling because I wish her look gives more youthfulness vibe. But swims of performance wise, she was okay. For the evening gown, I wasn't really a huge fan of the performance and style of the gown. So after the preliminaries, I really thought her advocacy would save her. But unfortunately, no. It happened to Ireland as well. My number 5, 2016, Alena Spodinuk. I was a little disappointed because Alena's overall performance and beauty and aura can be leveled up to the high caliber representatives of Ukraine. She did so well in her swimsuit preliminaries. Her walk was super good and loved her beach beauty type of aura that she showcased. Her evening gown round performance was also super good. She looked regal and seeing her in that evening gown made us all believe that she is going to be a sure qualifier. But when she wasn't cold, I was completely shocked. I mean, I thought she deserved to be up there. The number four is 2010 Anna Polavska who finished as third runner-up. Anna was definitely Anna was the definition of if they need a top 10, just be in the top 10. If they need a top 5, just be in the top 5. I mean, you don't really need to be on top. Just make sure you are always within the cut. And she did it. She wasn't really someone that I would consider as a top 5 contender. But she grew on me as the competition progressed. I love the classic beauty and very vintage type of aura that she showcased in the finals. Especially during the evening gown round. I am happy for her reaching the top five my number three is 2013 olga Storozhenko, who finished in the top 10. olga was one of the stunning representatives of 2013. her swimsuit preliminary was a bit lackluster to me though when it comes to energy but probably it was her strategy to appear slow because on the other hand it gives a more oozing type of a performance which actually suits her beauty and personality she was super stunning in the evening gown round loved her evening gown choice and that's where her beauty truly stood out i am happy seeing her going as far as top 10 because her performance in the finals were much much better than what she did in the preliminaries my number two 2011 alicia stefanko who finished as first runner-up Alicia got one of the most beautiful faces that walked 
the Miss Universe stage. She was oozing with sex appeal during the swimsuit competition and she ultimately transformed into a goddess during the evening gown competition. The evening gown performance was way more powerful during the finals which was perfect and that, that placed her in the top 5. I actually wanted her to win but that night all stars were really aligning for Angola but Lydia will always be re remembered forever as one of the best representatives from Ukraine and probably one of the best of all times. And my number one favorite from Ukraine from the last decade is 2014 Diana Harkusha who finished as second runner-up. For Diana, I only jumped into her bandwagon after the preliminary performance. Her swimsuit preliminary was, was one of the best. I mean, she came out from nothing on my list to jumping to my top five in my final prediction. She just came out in her swimsuit with so much confidence and sass, and those facial expressions are entertaining to look at. She was performing like a real crown contender. Her evening on preliminary shocked me the most. As what I have said, it was in one of the best gowns that we have seen in the mess in the history of the evening gown competition of this universe. And she did great in the preliminaries. She I mean she even didn't perform perfectly in the finals. I mean as I mean similar to Elysia, both of them did extremely well in the preliminaries, but their performance were elevated even more in the finals and that's what makes them the best. I love the power and the fire and that intensity in her eyes. I love Alicia, but Diana gives a more remarkable performance in my opinion. So that's it. These are the top 10 ranking for the best Miss Universe Ukraine of the decade. I know we are divided between Alicia and Diana, so I'll be... Looking forward to read your comments in the comment section below, so don't forget to write your comments. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.